Blue Rhythmic Monkey, day six of the wave of White World Bridger that we are journeying. And the sixth day, the rhythmic tone is all about balance, coming into the balance between the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine, the active and the passive, bringing the forces into balance. And the monkey archetype is about the inner child and the magical self. But to get to the magical self, the true self, we have to heal the wounds of the child. So bringing the child into balance and basically expanding into the multidimensionally mental, mental truth. I can't talk today. It's funny, it must be connected to my inner child, these big words. Um, multidimensional truth is allowing us to embrace our wounds and our gifts. Because when we expand into the bigger picture truth, then we realize why everything was a gift. So even our wounds are our gifts. And that allows us to heal from them and not feel victimized by them. And therefore reclaim our power and grow in responsibility for our lives, understanding the bigger picture of our lives and working with that bigger picture rather than working against it, resisting it. So resisting the wounds cuts us off from the magic and preferring not to have experienced those wounds will cut us off from the magic too. So. It's a big healing required around the inner child to bring the inner child into balance to really realize that because we are all going to suffer, we all have some, some parts of our story which are about suffering. We can't avoid it. That's why we've come into being because we want to experience everything. And um, our suffering is actually part of our beauty in a way. And there was a spiritual teacher of mine from Bali, an awakened being, Ida Risi, and she used to say, your pain is beautiful. Our ability to feel through our suffering is part of what makes us beautiful and more open to receive the joys because as someone once wrote to me it's only through knowing great sadness that we can really know great joy because we are in this polarity existence so in the polarity of our inner child is the darkness and the light and we need to totally reclaim. totally reclaim the fullness of ourselves and receive the wounds back the shadow everything that we've disowned our power, reclaim it, and actually receive the gift that is there, as opposed to holding it in the space of woundedness and never integrating it, never bringing it in to a whole. So we have these good experiences in life and bad experiences, and we're running away from the bad experiences, but actually we need to look at them and integrate the gift that was in them and no longer be in that dualistic mindset about what is a good or bad experience in my life. You're all part of my soul's journey for a reason. And when I look at it like that, I'm no longer in suffering. So that's what this journey of Wellbridge is about, is being able to have that spiritual perspective, that multidimensional perspective, so that we don't suffer so much. Because, because we remember it's just a game. It's just a game, which is another aspect of Blue Monkey is this playfulness and we came in we chose to come in our pure selves to have this game of life and it is a game and there's no way to really lose or win the game it's all about the experience and at the end of the journey like as your heart will be weighed did you come to know love or did you get lost in the maze and go searching other things that were not that important did you come to love yourself and then open to love and see it all as a game and start enjoying the game. That's basically the story of this wave. Another way to look at it is that. And um, one of my uh, Mayan teachers, in fact, uh, Vasumi, is a rhythmic monkey. So she might listen to this. 
um, we met and she is the embodiment of that in, in embracing the whole of life the ups and downs and seeing it all as a game and really being in her inner child and embracing the game in a playful way and she brings so much joy to teaching and so enjoys teaching this modality and um, is a perfect example of you know really expanding into the multi-dimensional to sort of have different viewpoints on this reality and just laugh at the uh, amazingness of the cosmic joke that we're in and once we get that joke then we can start having fun with what we're creating and play because the supporting energy of um, monkey is yellow star so that's that art and creativity and the imagination to create anything because then when we're in our inner child is balanced we remember we are creator beings and so that's the multi-dimensional truth of it.